Hey guys, in this short tutorial, I will show you how to link a custom domain to your Heroku app. Currently, my URL looks like this. To change that, we first need to purchase a domain. You can buy a domain from various platforms. I usually use Namesheep. Just head over to their website and get your domain there. Once you have a domain, log into your Namesheep account. Under the domain list, you should now see your domain. Here, you will want to click on Manage. Then, click on Advanced DNS. In this section, we will tell Namesheep where our website is located. To get the address, we need to head over to our Heroku account. Under the Settings tab, you will find the Configure SSL button. Click here and then select Automatic Certificate Management. With that set up, hit the Add Domain button. Here, you want to type your domain name without the leading W's. Next, copy the DNS target address to your clipboard. Now, head back to your Namesheep account and add a new record. From the drop down list, select alias record. The host will be an add sign, and in the target, paste the DNS target value we just copied. You can leave the TTL on automatic. And to confirm your input, click on the green check mark. Remember, these changes might take some time. So if you now try to visit your website, it might still not be available. You can also check the current status in your Heroku settings by clicking the following button. And don't worry if you currently see some errors. As I mentioned, it usually takes a couple of minutes. However, we can also proceed to add our domain with the leading W's. So add the domain again, but this time include the W's. Just like before, copy the DNS target to your clipboard. Back in Namesheep, you now want to add a CNAME record. The host will be www and then paste the DNS target as a value. Here too, you can leave the TTL as automatic. Now go back to Heroku and refresh the status. After a couple of minutes, you should see that the status is going to change to OK. Once both domains are OK, you should now be able to reach your Heroku app under your new domain. You can either reach it with the leading W's or without it. Alright guys, and there you have it. I hope you found the video helpful. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.